Alright, hello guys, Elder Boucher here again with another Monster Hunter video, and uh, today will probably be a little short one, um, but on the events, there is a quest called The Proving, and uh, if you'll remember in an earlier episode, we um, did a quest that earned us uh, a unique little outfit for our Palico that was Horizon Zero Dawn inspired, and now... Um, there is a quest that earns us material to make an outfit and a weapon for ourselves. That is Horizon Zero Dawn Inspired. And as soon as it loads up, we will be going on that quest. Um, come on, little Palico buddy. Actually, it has nothing to do with the Palico buddy. Just come on, loading screen. There we go. So let's head out on this quest. Uh, it shouldn't be that big of a challenge at all for us, really, because we are um, we are kind of uh, over-leveled and over-geared for this level of quest, but it should still be enjoyable nonetheless. We are fighting a um, high-rank Anjanath, and on top of it being high-rank, it is also... Um, guaranteed to be a large one so uh i know i've talked about this before but for anyone new to the channel or anyone who forgot hasn't been playing the game the monsters have sizes which determine the amount of health they will have and um basically the larger they are the more health they have the smaller the smaller they are the less health they have and there is a trophy because of course uh i want to try to get everything done in the game which includes all the trophies so uh, there is a trophy for getting the small gold crown, so smallest possible uh, monster size for every monster in the game that have different sizes, because two of them don't, and um, large gold crown for every monster in the game. So doing this quest luckily nets you guaranteed the large gold crown for Anjanaths, which is lovely. Um, camera's kind of stuck in the tree there, but got the mount right away on this guy which is always nice um this being a high rank anjanath he hits hard but he's not really anything particularly menacing unfortunately given our armor set and stuff like he or sorry he can still do a lot of damage to us given our armor set but given our weapon uh we can also take him out pretty fast even if he is the large side uh largest possible anjanath um Big Bang 4, Big Bang Finisher. Oh, didn't quite get it off. That's unfortunate. Um, not sure if he's going to stand still or not here, but let's uh, activate the Poison Cup. See if we can get some poison on this guy. No, he kind of ran off, eh? That's unfortunate. That poison buildup would have been nice. Get some constant damage going on this guy. I would have enjoyed that. Um... Come on, you freaking... I hate when I have to end up running through this water instead of just jumping through it. Um... Da, da, da. There he is. Yeah, we're not going to get the slide on him, unfortunately. But we were out of the way of his roar, which is nice, because I hate when, uh... As you know, if you've been following the channel, I freaking hate it when they roar and stop me. Nope, nope, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't so good of an attack. That time it worked. Nope. So the damage builds up pretty fast when you're fighting this guy. The amount of damage he does to you. But... He's not that bad, especially when he wastes his time focusing on your Palico instead of you. Oh, got him in the knee there, that's good. Except he lit me on fire. Come on, buddy. Don't prolong this with your shitty fire breath. Not really getting good hits on him, unfortunately. Oh, actually, damn, I was not paying attention to my health. Looks like we, uh... 
Looks like this asshole's gonna prove me wrong when I said he's not too tough with our gear. Um, I've honestly fought this guy so many times I've stopped taking him seriously, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so I tried to record this earlier, but uh, my audio came out very bad. Um, there's something wrong, I think, with my mic because every third word it completely cut out for about 20 seconds and then would cut back in I'd say three words and then it would cut out again so this is actually my second time recording this fight um, bleh, which sucks because I always try to get my um, my first recording done properly for you guys I always want uh, like my first experience with the thing to be the one that you guys get to see. But yeah, unfortunately with this one, um, the recording didn't work. So I, uh, what, geez, I want, yeah, that's what I want. Um, yeah, the, sorry, the recording didn't work. So that sucked, I had to delete it. There was nothing I could do, it was unsolvable. Uh, and then I basically tried, I loaded up the fight a few more times, recorded, um, recorded it with the mic set at different pitches, different volumes, different frequencies, and it feels pretty good. Uh, but, so, I was just trying to get, like, a good range on it. So, I've pretty much, this is my sixth time playing this mission, second time recording it fully, because I knew, like, all those other recordings I knew were going to be trash, so I didn't even bother like commentating too much I kind of just made different sounds the whole time to see which ones it could pick up well which ones it couldn't at that frequency um not frequency but at that volume I should say with those settings uh so yeah hopefully this one turns out well if not it will uh, uh well if not you'll never hear this and it will be a different one where I will be probably fighting him for the eighth time or something like that um already fell over that's good but so regardless just trying to show off the quest that you do for the proving ah, stop running away you big cowardly thing I think that was the first time I have ever died against this guy the other like five or six times that I've done this which is really unfortunate Although I guess that makes this one a more entertaining video than my earlier one. Because my earlier one, uh, I fought him in, um, I believe it's like the Zone 2 area. And <laughs> that area does not favor this guy. He actually couldn't do anything the entire time I was fighting him. He basically, if I wasn't mounting him, I had knocked him over and was smacking him in the face like the entire time. I think he probably hit me twice. The entire video so more impressive I guess to show that one off but this one is definitely putting up a better fight than the last one again the last recording not the last time I fought him Ooh. son of a bitch <laughs> Oh, that's not good for me. Oh, yes, okay, cool, I got the mount. I thought, because uh, he was doing his like little rampage move there, I figured I'd hit into his hitbox and just go flying backwards. Come on, big guy. I need to take you down faster than this. I told the good people this would be a short one. Don't draw it out. <laughs> Solid hit to the head. Just give him a couple good slams on the throat. That ought to... Oh, shit. Paratoad. That's not good. I mean, it's good for me because he's stuck, but I'm stuck too. <laughs> Ooh, knocked him over. Nice. Beautiful. Maybe we can get a bit more punishment in here on him. Nope. He was glitching through the ground, and I did not get a good hit on his head. 
Oh, he fell that way. I underestimated how far down he fell. <laughs> uh, looks like he's ready to fight here, though. He's not going to be trying to run away anymore. Which I am okay with, because I s think I got him stuck in a good pattern right now for me. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we can end this with this combo. That would be pretty sweet. Nope. Missed the final hit. Oh, don't run away, you. I don't think this little red pit thing that I'm shooting him with is going to do much, unfortunately. If I had something better, like a slinger shell or something, I might have been able to stun him and stop him from running away. Because if, if he goes all the way back to his nest, we are in for quite the trek. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. As always, like, leave comments, let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling about the series. Um, I can now eat, apparently, which is awesome. Uh, where is this guy? Come on. Da -da -da. I'm still a little mad that he got to uh, kill me before. That sucks, but whatever. He's going down now. And, uh, yeah, so... I ha it's not, It hasn't been too many days, just to let you know, since uh, the time I fought uh, Zeno Jiva, in case you're wondering why uh, I still have that double um, basil goose hunt to still uh, take care of. Ooh, he fell right through the net. That's unfortunate for him. The little Yagras are going to be biting away at him. Oh, that roar. Damn. Oh, stuck in the net again. And that's the end of them. Sweet. So yeah, that is the uh, the quest called The Proving. Um, it's really not that hard. You gotta be Hunter rank 11, unfortunately. And they are putting you up against the largest type of... Uh, yeah, the largest Yagris you can fight. Or not Yagris, Jesus. Anjanath you could fight. Sorry, I saw a little Yagris there and said the wrong monster name. But yeah, so that was a large Anjanath. Um... That was the quest, the proving, and for doing this, you should get a Nova Brave um, or certificate or something like that, um, which I'm guessing is something from Horizon Zero Dawn. I've never played Horizon Zero Dawn, so I don't really know what uh, what the game. I know a little bit about what the game's about, but I don't know if that's a reference to anything. Let's get on my face, really, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here, when we get to the reward screen, it'll show you the items that we get. Uh, where is it? This one here, Nova Brave Trophy. Oh, wow, I got three of them. Damn. That's rare. You'll usually get one or two. I have not, I've never gotten three before. That's pretty good. I like that. Um... So, of course, I died once, so I got a little bit less money. Research points are pretty good. Uh, like I said, I already did this, so you didn't see the little largest thing come up because this isn't my first time killing him. Fuck, this isn't even my fifth time killing him. But with the, uh, the Nova Brave things, we can come to the armory, which is always nice. Oh, I forgot to... Damn it, I'm an idiot. Adding unnecessary time to this video. Damn me. Um, but yeah, so we go to the armory and we can make a outfit for ourselves called uh, the Aloy outfit because that is the main character from Horizon Zero Dawn. And uh, if you guys have played Horizon Zero Dawn, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments because there was a point last year... Uh, later in the year where I was sitting there on my PSN and I had just enough room in my budget to pick up either Horizon Zero Dawn or Nier Automata. And I went with um, Nier Automata. And I enjoyed the hell out of that game. I had a lot of fun with it. And then after that, um, oh, I forget what the next big game I played was after that. But pretty much from there, I never ended up going back to play... Um, 
Horizon Zero Dawn. Ooh, actually, before I forget, I just want to make sure I throw this on so I don't... Uh, where am I going? Fertilize, soft soil, get some extra growths out of everything. And now let's head up to our workshop. But yeah, sorry, I never went back to playing Horizon Zero... No, to touch Horizon Zero Dawn. So, and now there's so many good games coming out this year. Monster Hunter's going to be a giant time sink. There's two or three others that have come out that I have my eye on. Um, so I don't know if I'm, like, I will eventually play that at some point in my life, but uh, I do not know when. Uh, so yeah, you come here and you can, whoop, crap, didn't mean to back out. Forge equipment. So you go down to full armor sets, and there it is, the Aloy set. That's what it looks like. And with it, you can forge her weapon, which I already did. So there's the Aloy bow, but now we have enough to make the upgraded version of her bow, which is a much better weapon. You know what? We might as well equip it. Equip it. Sorry, I didn't mean to fucking say that like an asshat. Um, throw some of these on there. Do -do. Upgrade that a little bit. Equip the full set. Uh, upgrade this piece as well. Wham. Get that defense up. Might as well give the whole armor set the same treatment. So, of course, that's going to be five pieces. I think the other two jump to the back of the list yeah I'm using up a lot of my advanced armor spheres but screw it gotta use them sometime right might as well use them on some playstation exclusive uh armor yeah that should be more than enough so yeah this is the aloy set um you know what We'll change the Palico outfit when we get into the quest. And let's just do a nice short one. We'll go back down to events. So we have this one, Yaku with that, where we have to fight uh, a Kulu Yaku as well as a Tsitsi Yaku. Uh, they shouldn't be too hard to kill. Um, they're not even high rank, so they shouldn't be hard at all. Of course, I am gauging that off of how hard we hit with our hammer. I don't know how good her bow is. I also don't know how uh, how to use the bow that well. We uh, I don't know if you guys remember, and if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know, but there was an episode where I started off with the bow and was all excited to use it, and then uh, immediately put it away because uh, it was not a good match for the Rathian I was fighting. Oh, no, I don't want to leave my Palico behind. All right, go into my tent. I wish there was an easier way to change your Palico's equipment instead of either going into a tent on a job or, um, where is this old set? Uh, Jesus, which one was it? Oh, right, because, um, it's a full armor set, right? Manage loadout. No, that's not what I want. Am I being retarded? Where is this thing? <laughs> Weird, maybe I can't... Equipment box? Uh... I feel like it'd be before the Zoro stuff. Oh, well, there's his weapon. <laughs> oh, there we go. No preview. Oh, that's that's why I was having trouble seeing it. It said no preview. You guys were probably laughing at me the whole time as I went past it like five or six. Okay, so we are playing as Aloy. We've got our little robot Palico guy here to help us out. Let's just do a little quest. This is the closest I will get to playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on my channel for quite some time. Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. So what is this, close range coding? Do I will get used to fighting with the bow eventually, guys. Promise. Oh crap, this guy's here too. Give him some critical shots to the head. I'm glad they're kind of fighting each other as well as me. <laughs> well. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, oh, I wonder if I could have possibly grabbed some different types of ammo out of my uh, gear. Oh, what the hell? Did our Palico use a little shock trap on him? That's awesome. You know, I shot that guy in, the, in his little fan things that caused the spark, and I was kind of hoping it would work to uh, cancel it out. What's the range on that thing? Okay, at least I'm out of it. Okay, only having close range ammo kind of sucks. But I know you can't actually go back in this arena to your gear and swap things out, unfortunately. So I'll just have to make do with what we have. Uh... Oh, damn, that was... Damn it! <laughs> oh, made him drop his rock. That's good. Come on, buddy. Jesus Christ, I suck. <laughs> oh, you ha uh, it auto-shoots if you hold it too long. Good to know. I wonder if either of these are even close to going down. I know they're not that tough, but they're also, uh... Ooh. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's just blind you here for a second. Ooh. Well, that was a kind of cool slide there with the arrow. Yeah, I really gotta learn to be better with the bow. There I go, being an asshole, missing my shots again. Okay, you know what? I'm clearly not doing nearly enough damage with this thing. Oh, I was hoping one of them would come after me. That sucked. Okay, so it does have a pretty good range on that flash. Ooh, there we go, getting kicked. Oh yeah, right, you can't fast travel if... Uh... Ooh, okay, this sucks. I don't have my different types of ammo on me. I can't really do much. <laughs> I know the bow is a much more versatile and useful weapon than this. Oh, hey, the Dragonator can be used. That'll be helpful. That Kulu Yaku was shock-trapped. Actually, you know what? If he's shock-trapped, I don't think he will have any way of avoiding this. Pretty sure he's lined up for it. That's awesome. Yay for our Dragonator. Trying to hit this guy's head while he's flopping it around there was pretty hard. I feel like this does just as much as my freaking bow. Yeah, got flashed again. That was kind of silly of me. 
Thank you, Sigward, for knocking me out of that. Let's grab this material. Oh, you dick. Let's grab the pod if they will leave me alone for a moment. A drop is rock. Crap, getting flashed again. Nope. Was out of range. That's good. I guess we're just ganging up on the T, uh, T, T, a coup for the moment. Hey, and it's dead. Here we go. Freaking, uh, Aloy the big goofy chicken hunter. Hopefully this guy doesn't have much health left to him either. Oop. That wasn't so good. Did that stun him? No. Now he's being an asshole. So you can shoot without aiming, which is nice. Ish. Doesn't really do much. You're better off just aiming. go now they're both dead so yeah that was uh the quest the proving and that was me being an idiot and only using close range ammo because i forgot that i'd have to grab different ammos to go with my bow but um yeah so we have the whole uh, horizon zero dawn set and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed the two hunts um they weren't so bad, and as you saw, there were other events to do there. Other things going on. Oh, I guess the Kuli Yaku's body disappeared by the time I killed this thing. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, that was uh, the Monster Hunter World uh, Horizon Zero Dawn stuff. And um, I will see you guys next time on Monster Hunter, where we will do another one of those event quests, because... I'm still not ready to take on two tempered uh, basil geese or basil goose, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And uh, in the interim, I might as well enjoy some of the weekly content that is released for this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had a good one. That's actually a really nice shot there on the little uh, screen thing. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Have a great day.